Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Brick Building Kids. We come to you today with a uh, a little renovation or fixing project that we're going to start working on. Um, what this is is this is a ping pong table that it is regularly over four hundred dollars um, for this Jula ping pong table. Now we had purchased this from an Amazon um, Amazon return uh, place. They buy truckloads of return of returns from retailers. Um, that uh, had maybe sent out damaged goods. Um, what we did is we bought the site unseen. We saw it, we bid on it. Um, I think we paid $40 for it. The frame itself, everything else is in really good condition with the exception of this. So take a look at that. So it is a really, really big crease. Hole, puncture, whatever you'd like to call it. This guy over here is actually even bigger. So, um, yes, we could probably play with it in the current condition, but what we're going to do is we're going to work on filling this hole. So we're going to show you how we are going to take steps to fix this here today. So let's get started. Alright guys, so we're going to start with this first hole. Now my main tools I'm going to be using are a min Minwax wood filler. So this is high performance um, wood filler. We're going to put some wood underneath this so we can have a, uh, a backing. You can see underneath where my hand is. So just on the other side of our, our uh, ping pong table. But I'm actually going to as well, I'm going to scrape off some of these rough edges. So the wood filler is going to start to help us make a smooth edge. I'm going to, you can see there's still some more cracking here, so I'm going to use uh, sandpaper and some of my uh, spackling tools to kind of clean this up so it's, uh, it's a lot easier to work with and so we can make a more um, level, level outcome. So I'm going to grab some tools and then we're going to time lapse through um, cleaning up. Alright guys, now for this, I wanted to, to get this all smoothed out. I took away a lot of the um, really uh, loose pieces, so I'm going to get a piece of wood and I'm going to secure it under here so when we start filling our wood, or using our wood filler, it'll have something to sit on top of. So this surface is, um, I've created my divots in here, so I should be able to use this to make a nice, smooth surface across. It may take a few times to get it right, um, but we're gonna sand, we're gonna fill it, we're gonna sand it away, and um, get this going. All right, now guys, before I start applying the wood filler, um, I am going to um, put my underneath here. So, but what we're gonna do is I'm going to take some old-fashioned wax paper, and I'm actually going to put it in between the table and my wood. Now my thought behind that is the wax paper, what it'll do is it'll um, create um, a, a, another layer in between our wood filler and our piece of wood under there. So my thought behind this is when, when I go to remove the wood after we're all done with this project, I don't want to just peel all the wood filler off with the wood since it's going to bond to this. The wax paper should act as a nice in-between layer even if it still sticks to it. It's going to be wax paper, it's going to be fine underneath. So we're going to attach that now. Um, I'm going to just simply use duct tape to apply it underneath. So we're not going to have a lot of pressure on this for now, so it should be, should be sufficient. All right, guys, now you can see in there I have my wood, for my wood backing in here I have my wax paper on top, so we're going to start to create this wood filler. Alright, so 
briefly read the instructions. Looks like what we need to do is we need to scoop out um, as much of this as we can work with in 15 minutes. And then we're going to apply um, one part to every 16 parts of this wood feller, the hardener in here. And we're gonna stir it for, for 30 seconds once we get our mixture. So let's, uh, ooh, this stuff smells very, very strong, very potent. All right, so I'm gonna start So we're gonna need more than that. Yeah, this stuff is very, very strong. Make sure you are in a well-ventilated area. These fumes are, wow, these fumes are really strong. All right. <clears throat> okay. up so it's stir until you no longer see any more whites and this all has to be applied within 15 minutes or it will harden so all right so I think we're good I see no more the hardener in here, so let's uh, let's start scooping this in. Okay. I don't want you guys. I can tell right off the bat. I'm gonna need more. I am gonna need more. Okay. And you know what's really cool is with that wax paper below. Um, it should, this wood filler should not try and attach to that. So since it is still kind of liquid, it should just fill in all those gaps in there as opposed to starting to seep into the wood below. All right, I'm actually gonna mix some more here. All right, and while I'm mixing this guys, I actually, uh, didn't really consider this to be an option until um, Stacy, the Brick Building Kids mom, had done some research and saw that this was a possibility. So we were just using this as a Lego table, and it was uh, it was pretty cool using it as a Lego table. So um, I guess that's still all right that we've lost our Lego table for now. But this is a it's a really cool idea if it works. So we'll see. All right, so we're getting this and all those little cracks and crevices. And I'm gonna check below and our, uh, our wax paper and one by two concoction is still, still holding strong. I bet you're wondering how we're gonna paint this. Me too, me too. We're, kinda wing we're gonna wing that part, we'll see. Guys, this kind of feels like feels really good. Right, I'm actually gonna stop stop doing that because I think we had it level there a minute ago. Okay. Yeah, it's starting to get really hard. Okay. So it's a little rough right now, and I had assumed there's gonna be at least at least one or two coats of this before we get it right. So I'm gonna let this dry and we're gonna see what this looks like when we're all done. We're gonna move on to the next one. Perfect. Ish. Let's get you guys a better look from the side too. So You see here, it is a little raised on the ping pong table, but whereas we sand before, we're gonna sand here too, and we're gonna make this nice and flat, so 
feeling really good about this right now. Really good. Alright guys, so this one's a lot uh, more gnarly than the other one. This has got a lot more punctures, a lot more cracks. So it's it's gonna be tougher, but you know I think it's worth it. I, I do think it's worth it. So um, I'm going to go through my cleaning process just like we did before. So here we go. All right guys, so I have this full now, or I'm sorry, I have this cleaned. I've got all of the cracked areas um, scuffed out. So we're actually going to give this a few moments to dry because um, the wood filler should not be applied when, at, when wet at all. So it's gonna give me a chance to secure the wax paper underneath and then we can come back and um, finish inserting our wood filler. So I'm gonna leave this on, we're gonna watch it dry while I put the wax paper on. All right guys, this is dry now. And um, like I said, I took and put my uh, wax paper backing under here so we're going to be able to mix our mixture and fill this up yeah and what's interesting is I haven't checked the other side of the table but um, everything that's left in here is super super hard so I'm going to be sure and clean this out before we try and um, put it away See, no, we mix this all up. This is mixing the wood filler with the wood hardener. Okay, you gotta mix it all up until all the wood hardener. Then you put it on the wax paper? Yep, fill in the hole. Yep, you're right, like buddy. Like the other one? Like the other one. Then it be like done drying. Yep, you gotta wait. This stuff takes like 15 minutes to dry. So it says you're not supposed to um, use this in applications over a quarter of an inch. We're close to that, so we're just gonna run with it. And you know what, we'll let you know how well. And do it? Yeah, we'll let you know how well this works. All right, so we're gonna push Chewbacca. this in. All right, yeah, we like Chewbacca. Let's take a look at this. So the stuff should be pretty easily sanded. I, I don't want to keep moving it because I feel like I'm making making divots when I don't need to. So I'm going to let this go. And after it is all dried, we're going to sand it down and see how much more we need to fill in. Now let's go take a look at the other side. What? All right, so like I said, we just finished our, our big gap, and this is, yeah, it, wow. It is very, very warm. I'm serious, it's warm, it's crazy. All right, so we're gonna actually let this go. We're gonna leave these, we're gonna leave these cure for probably an hour or so and come back and see, see how things look. 
start working on it again. Alright guys, we're back. Um, this is day two. I actually let, um, I let this sift the rest of the day, so it has cured for uh, roughly, let's say 12, at least 12 hours. So it is actually really hard. It does, um, does have a similar texture to to the wood, but you can tell that it is that it is some other substance. So I'm gonna go ahead and sand this down so we can make it flat. I do still feel a little divot on this one. The other one, uh, I think we're gonna have more more hills on that one that are, we're gonna have to sand down. But this one does have a little bit of divots. So I'm gonna go through here and I'm gonna sand this down. And we're gonna see what kind of condition we have in a moment. All right, guys, so this is the first one done. Now, the only problem that I have right now is I just have a very little divot right there, right in that spot there. So everything else, um, it, it is a little raw over here, but that's perfectly fine. Um, but I have got everything flat and smooth. So uh, we're creating a nice new surface for, um, for what we're going to end up putting this um, down when we're finished. So. Um, I'm not too certain exactly what we're going to do as far as with paint um, or with what we're going to cover this, but our objective um, for this whole thing is just to create a flat, playable surface that we can work with. So, and I think I think we've done just that so far. So we're gonna I'm gonna do the other other side now. All right, guys, we're with the other one. We we're looking at. Um, a divot with this one. I think we might still have a divot right here, maybe one right here, but for the most part, I think we safely applied enough of this where um, it's gonna actually take me longer to sand this down due to the excess that I put on here. So, um, hindsight, I would be a little bit more careful about the amount that you're putting on here, but due to how quickly that this stuff does cure, um, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So. Um, either which way, it's going to give us a, a pretty, should be a pretty easy second coat to deal with. So, we'll see soon. All right, guys. So this is um, a sanding of stage. You know, the first, our first, uh, first coat is done. All right. So you can see some of these uh, lighter white spots. Um, those are deeper divots than what I'm able to actually sand into. So there's a little deep divot here too. But there's a. For the most part, this is this is very well filled in. So I'm only going to have a real little bit to fill in. We're gonna let this dry because um, I did wipe it down with a damp cloth. So I'm gonna let it dry and then we are going to fill in these divots with a little bit of wood filler and uh, let them dry and sand and see where we're at. So here we go. All right, to my error, I thought I was recording, but I was not, so I apologize. I'm just mixed a little bit of this, and I'm gonna, 
Not filling this in like you would if you were spackling or mudding area on your wall. Just trying to make sure I hit hit that hole on the table and spread it as evenly as possible so I don't have a ton to sand but so I know I've got that divot. Yeah, I've got that divot. All right, cool. Let's move on to the other side. Alright, so I didn't mix a whole bunch. So we don't really have that many areas to put in. So we got our holes right here. Okay. And this little tool should help me locate and fill in any of the uneven spots. Because I do feel like that's pretty level. And I'll stress this again, um, but only mix what you think you can use in 15 minutes because this stuff does dry very, very fast. Alright guys, so this smaller one um, actually did turn out a lot better um, than the other side. We're going to need at least one more coat on the other side, but for um, this video we're just going to finish this one up. and. Uh, I'll finish the rest off camera. We're gonna sand this down. You're gonna use a harder grit of 60 when we start, just to, to get this more down, um, some of these, some of this area down easier. You'll notice when you're sanding this, it does take a lot of a lot of force to get this to start to sand down. So I'm gonna use the heavier grit till I get this down to uh, the level I want. Then I'm gonna use a more finer 220 um, grit. I'll show you guys. Um, the finished product after there. All right, guys. So this first bat, this first, um, this first patch, I'm gonna call it done. The other one, we still have a little bit of work to do. Like I said, um, I'm gonna take that off camera and I'm gonna finish that. But this came super, super smooth. And in comparison to the table, this this matches up extremely well. Now the area is a little damp right now for me cleaning off um, the sanded down area, but I am very, very happy um, with this. So that is going to lead me to um, what we do next. So at this point we have a few different options. We can deal with it, which it is a little bit of an eyesore. Um, our second option is we could paint it. The third option is we could cover it with something uh, maybe a little untraditional. And that's what we're going to do. We started this video about six months ago and uh, just due to life we got caught up and just kind of forgot about this. We would come down here occasionally, play ping pong, kids would build Legos on the table um, and they would do arts and crafts. So um, the table itself, it has, you know, it's got a, some scratches on it, it's got some wear. So I'm not, I'm not particularly fond of repainting it because I think it ultimately it's going to get scratched up again. So what I'm going to do is I am having custom made, um, or I had custom made some vinyl stickers that we're just going to place right over top of these. So we know our area is smooth, we've prepared it, we've cleaned it, so I'm going to lay this down here in a moment and uh, show you what it looks like. Alright guys, so like I said, I am not going to do not going to mess with anything as far as painting goes. So what we've done is we've had these custom vinyl um, ping pong paddles design made um, for for the table. So what I'm going to do is this is uh, this goes on very similar to like how your cell phone screen protectors go. So this is a this is a vinyl sticker. So it has a a transfer sheet backing and the vinyl sticker. So what we're going to do is I've, I've prepped the area. I've cleaned it with soap and water. Um, it's all dried up, so I'm going to 
take the sticker, remove it from the transfer sheets, and apply it here. Now we're going to apply it like this. And on our other side, we are going to do the same thing after that area is completely ready. So. So, all right, here we go. So I first remove our backing. Line it up, and we're going to make sure that we are completely covering this hole. I'm not going to line it up like this so I don't have to keep it straight, so we're going to make this crooked or at an angle, but just so we can ensure that we are covering our complete hole. So I'll lay this down like this, I'm completely covering at all spots. I'm going to gently lay this down. Perfect. So we're going to smooth this out to make sure there's no bubbles trapped. Alright, I see no trap bubbles at all. No trap bubbles in this at all. So we're going to keep smoothing it down. And if you want to, you could get a credit card to smooth this thing down. Um, my only problem with that at this point is the vinyl, it's, it's kind of questionable on whether I should have put a coat of something over top of this, but I didn't want to um, change the geography of the area that we're going to be covering this at. So um, it's just laying right on top of the raw wood, right on top of the raw wood filler. Uh, but it's adhering all the way across the table, so we should not have any issues at all with it adhering. All right, so let's remove this. All right, so guys, it is, it is on here. It looks so much nicer than that eyesore that it was before. Like I mentioned, we can go through here, we can clean up all these bubbles, um, but it's actually not really anything I'm worried about. It looks so much nicer than it did before. Let me take this off the tripod. So you guys see. All right. So we've got this compared to that. So I am very, very happy with this finish. All right guys, I was able to get the last piece on. Um, we took one more coat and we sanded it down and uh, this turned out really, really well. So as you can see here, uh, both, vinyl, vinyl stickers cover, both vinyl stickers cover the patch. Now, if you look super closely, you can see um, the discoloring. Uh, just the color variations, it's, it's a different shade of white where we made our, uh, um, we patched our holes up, but it is nothing major. Like I said, the kids are probably going to play more Legos and more coloring on this ping pong table than actual ping pong, but this is going to remove the cosmetic uh, informalities or deformities, if you will, on our ping pong table and just make it look more complete and finished. So. Um, I am going to include a link to purchase the wood filler that we use and if you guys are interested in some of these stickers just uh, let me know. Um, the person who made these is not a, uh, not a store but we might be able to hook you up with some of these so um, drop a comment or a like below let us know what you thought. We do appreciate you watching. Uh, please make sure and subscribe for more brick building kids fun and uh, have a great day. Thanks for watching.